everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to be learning how to crochet the crescent bookmark, which uh, you can see here in front of you. I've worked this bookmark up in a few different colors. It's a very simple bookmark, but also very elegant as well. It's one that you're going to be able to work up quickly. So if you're looking for something uh, last minute to add to a gift or uh, that you want to make multiples of to sell at a craft sale, this might be the right pattern for you. For this pattern today, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Patton's Grace yarn by Yarn Inspirations. I'm going to be working it in this blue color. Uh, it is a 100% mercerized cotton and uh, it's a lightweight yarn so it has that number three on the label if you're looking for something uh, that you can uh, kind of swap it out for. Uh, it comes in a variety of colors and uh, I just like working my bookmarks in a cotton yarn. So that's what I'm going to use. You're only going to need about 20 or 30 yards for your bookmark you're not going to need very much at all. The pattern can be adjusted so my bookmarks measure approximately 10 and a half inches. They're about a half an inch wide uh, without the tassel so you can adjust that pa this pattern and I'll show you how to do that as we get into it. You're also going to need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and uh, a yarn needle especially if you'd like to work a tassel afterward for the end which is optional uh, and then a pair of scissors of course. All this information as well as the direct link to the free written pattern can be found on my blog uh, in the description below. The free pattern is uh, found on my blog directly linked in the description and uh, that's on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, while you're here, be sure to take a look around. There are several other crochet bookmark patterns here on my channel under the bookmark playlist if you'd like to have a look. Uh, and this is also updated weekly with uh, free stitch tutorials. So uh, I hope you enjoy your time here, and uh, let's learn how to crochet this crescent bookmark. So our pattern today is worked in rows and uh, it is a one row repeat so once you uh, get past that second row you're just going to repeat it as long as you would like until we finish it off. You're going to start today's pattern by making a slip knot and then by working a chain of five. Once you've worked your chain of five you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch to make a ring. You're then going to begin row one. For row one, you're going to chain one and work six single crochet stitches all into the center of your ring. Once you have worked six single crochet into your ring, you're going to chain four and then work one more single crochet into the center of your ring. That brings you to the end of your first row. For row two, you're going to kind of turn your work into that chain four space that you just made, you're going to work six single crochet stitches. Chain four. And then single crochet back into that chain four space. And that forms uh, the basics of this bookmark pattern. At the end of row two, you're going to turn 
and you're going to repeat row two for as long as you would like. So I've repeated it until I reached about 10 inches. And I'll tell you that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 25. So I had 25 of these little crescents uh, here on my bookmark. So I've, that's how many times I repeated this row. But you're just going to turn and then once again working into that chain four space, work six single crochet. I'll work a couple more so that you can see how it progresses. then chain four and single crochet back into that same chain four space turn your work and then repeat six single crochet chain four and single crochet all into that same chain four space So continue to repeat that last row until your bookmark has reached its desired length and then you can meet me back here. Once you've worked your bookmark either to uh, the 10 inches or whatever desired length, I've done a slightly shorter one here so this is only 15 crescents. You've ended off with your chain four and your single crochet into that chain four space. For your final row, you're going to turn your work and simply work six single crochet stitches in, back into that chain four space. Now it's up to you at this point, you can fasten off if you'd like, or if you'd like to work one final slip stitch into that closest single crochet there, and then fasten off, you're welcome to do that as well. So just fasten off your work. You can then take a yarn needle and weave in your ends, and then I'm going to show you how I worked my final tassel. Now the tassel on this bookmark it is optional. And as I mentioned these are so quick they make a great last minute gift. Uh, perhaps you're looking for an end of the year teacher gift or a gift for a friend or just something you can add to a Christmas stocking. I love uh, making bookmarks. For those reasons. Once you've woven in your ends, you're going to want, uh, you may want to add a tassel or you may not, it's up to you. Uh, what, you're what I did for my tassel was I cut 11 lengths of yarn. Each one measures approximately 10 inches. Now I wanted a fairly long tassel. If you'd like it shorter, you can go a little bit shorter. So I cut 10, 11 lengths of yarn. I'm going to separate one of them and just set it aside. And then through that final crescent down at the bottom, I just inserted all of those threads together. Pull them down so that they're about even. And you want to make sure that you're crochet piece doesn't twist or anything just like so. I then took the extra piece of yarn and up fairly close to the end of my bookmark I tied the string or the yarn around up at the top. Okay, you can then uh, make a knot and then to kind of tidy it up a little bit, I wound the two ends just around the tassel bit a few times. And 
before turning it over and tying another knot. Make sure your knot is fairly tight because you don't want this coming off. just like so. Then to tidy it up even more I thread the ends through my yarn needle and then just took my yarn needle and tuck it into and down through the center of my tassel. And I did that for both of the ends. Just down through the center. Once you're done you can make sure all of your ends are pulled tight make sure that none of them are bent up or crooked and then trim the end of your tassel so that they're all even and your crescent bookmark is complete. It's that easy and that pretty. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make the crescent bookmark. Uh, if you do happen to make this bookmark, I would love to hear about it. You can uh, connect with me on social media or leave a comment down below. I'd just love to hear about all of your projects. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then. Happy crocheting. Bye.